know, some time ago, I um, I built a mine dark, um, and I was instructed to bring it to a hollow terminus. Well, there's one on this planet, so I'm going to head there. And once I'm there, I suppose I'm going to have to follow the, in um, the instructions from that nameless traveler and use the mind art to... Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but the phrase download Artemis comes readily to mind. I wonder have I been here before. Apparently not. That's a new one on me. How far up this thing I can get by jetpack alone? There's two levels right there. <laughs> All right. No, do you read me? Come in, no. Or actually, no. I'm going to tune to Artemis here. I wonder if I'm going to tell him about this. Well, I don't usually pick option two here, but. Here goes. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes, but it is not to be. One moment I see the hologram, and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over, their signal still active. Seeing the shopping? Yeah, here he is. Traveler is a dream. An idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it, you had it, Apollo too. Though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend. Walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass or the aerons or the progenitors. It is that final act. The decision to abandon those who need you is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends wait for you. They will, they will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return and when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Look like he cut the signal off. But it looks like I have to go to the anomaly again. There's no one here. They didn't. Wait. Their record taxes? Nah. Lux in the previous call are available. I wonder who that was. Okay, well, I'm gonna. I guess this. I'm guessing this thing is just gonna run itself out. Hmm. So I have to. Wait, what? Apparently, I just have to go to space. Um, blasting off. 
be a glitch. The hollow terminus was supposed to shut down after the call. Alright, it looks like another visit to the anomaly is in order, assuming I can get it there. Maybe I'm not far enough away from the, away from, from the planet yet. Here we go. So it looks like I'm going there again. All the same to you all just jetpack up here. And talk with Nada, apparently. Friend entity Polo has observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete, not fading? Nanda's visor light flare is burning with concern and distress. Well, I'll be honest with them, with them too. I tell Nanda about Artemis, about Nolan, about the Minarch. In dark, it glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I never thought it. I, I never thought to see a traveler's soul. You are so beautiful, but friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. Uh, how come? Artemis Echo will never have body again, we'll never explore again. Old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not a machine, it is something living, a refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to a machine to machine to subsimulation where they may live on. Or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Well, I'd like to know about the simulation. I ask what life would be like inside of the simulation. Nada, Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced. But if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends, such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Upload them to the mach machine to the sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Well, is there any other way I can... No. Not a share inks their heads strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. Uh, well, let me... Th well, it looks like... Uh I don't want to kill Artemis. Go and speak with Polo Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines no matter what your decision. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are Traveler, friend. I have thought this over. I'd kill Artemis. But I c I'll give him a chance at look. Yeah, that's he'll find out anyway. Um, I don't know, you know, like... Alright, alright. Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you no matter what the choice. I will prepare the machine. It is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Where is this private terminal? How would I get there from here? It looks like it's behind those stations, which means that I would have to go to the portal room and make a right? Oh, I don't know what... Never. I never did um, go into this place before. Uh, 
The machine is ancient and powerful, a record, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker, as they commune with the machine. The words on panel will unscramble themselves. Not entity authorization detected, secondary simulation 5, right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so, so dear to Nada, it will act as a home for Artemis should I wish it. Well, look, I'd like Artemis to live for as long a as they can. If th I know that discovering that they aren't, uh, that they're in a simulation is going to hurt them, but should they discover it, I guess, uh, they might ask me to kill them. And, you know, that they want to die. But that will be their decision, not mine. So I'm not going to kill Artemis. Artemis has not told me explicitly to kill them. Well, here he goes. I upload Artemis to the simulation, a spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. Nada tells me it is done. For my sake, they will permit transmissions to who went from the simulation, at least while the anomaly passes through, this, through safe systems. They warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow adjusted to their new life. Well, there he is. I suppose it's better than being dead. I guess before I leave, I ought to tell Nada about about this. <laughs> I think it's a better decision than than killing him. It's Artemis Echo will live on. Traveler will look and took them from corruption and restored them to a life of exploration to see a solar system that none but Corvax have ever witnessed. You have done well, Traveler. Thank you. That makes me feel a bit better. I mean, yeah, we can talk about things like, uh, like euthanasia, or right to die, that sort of, that sort of thing. It's difficult stuff to talk about, really. Hard even to think about. I wonder, do I want to, um, maybe I gotta buy another, well, a piece of technology anyway. I'm gonna buy the Atlas Pass. Well, there's a V3. I don't know whether I want to keep using riddles for it, uh, solving riddles for it, or just buy the thing outright. But there was other technology I was interested in. Okay, yeah, this thing. Um, I'm going to upgrade my InfraKnife Accelerator. I don't have hydraulic wiring. So I guess I'll buy the blueprint of that, too. Okay. I don't generally leave the anomaly the same way I came, but this time 
since the since the mission requires me to return to space and contact Apollo I plan on doing just that oh and an additional note if um, if I do run into one of those S-class exotic ships like that one and I have the money I will trade the Eld Eldridge in for Um, for an S-Class exotic ship. Maybe it's the Prestige, maybe it's the fact that it's S-Class, um, maybe it's the fact that it's exotic, I don't know. But... Alright. Here we are. Are you receiving the Hollow Terminus is showing available again? Your system was... thought you were gone. It's a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. Well, Apollo, I have something to tell you. You might want to sit down for this. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best I can. The Gateway, a strange plan, a vast machine, the Crimson Orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, and I can't form them in my mind. It's ju it is just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the Atlas itself. You... You saw it? You met the Atlas? The Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. I never thought... Are you all right? I can't imagine what you've gone through. Well... It wasn't a god. I was a bit... I was kind of unnerved. But it was a little more than just a machine. At least... It, it seemed a little more than just a machine. So... I'm gonna go with three, not a god. I tell Apollo of the things the Atlas said. How it spoke of the travelers and sentinels... As if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, I felt as if life and death were just fragile little dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm me. And I think, I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of the Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to this Sentinel nest. We'll be rich before I know it. Rich, please. Talk of money is absurd. I suggest talk of rewards is absurd at a time like this. The Atlas felt hostile, inexplicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that has happened since. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave in my encounter with the mysterious traveler Null. I suggest there is more going on here than an opportunity to earn units. Artemis is dead? I, I don't... How? Who would... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared, they believed, and I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. Well, I suppose you can say goodbye to Artemis if you were to go to the anomaly, head over to that simulation I put him in. I'm not going to lie to Apollo. I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore him to a form of life. Apollo was initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell him that Artemis' soul lives on only within a simulation and unable to go beyond. I wonder, what's, all, what's Apollo's opinion on this? Would Apollo have killed Artemis? It's a long time before Apollo speaks again. Will they be happy? I hope so. I don't know, but I hope so. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith, search for patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. See you later. So I need... it looks like I need to find... more portal ley lines. Another thing I'm curious about, though, is... Well, my freighter. Am I like right just no, that's the anomaly. Where is my freighter? Is it like behind me or something in the cause it's showing up as a head? That can't be it, that's a different fleet. Well 
I don't. I'm, I'm also just trying to find out if any of these freighters are recruitable. But it doesn't look like they are. I think the recruit ones have a sort of an icon o over them. If they want to work either with or for me, they'll probably know. Well, there's one surefire way to get there, though. And since the anomaly's closer, I'm going to go back there and use the portal. Is the anomaly? Somehow the anomaly doesn't have phone booths. Maybe I could have contacted a Apollo through one of them. Yeah, well, this time I'm going to hop aboard my freighter and see if my mission is finished. It should be by now. It was less than an hour, and it's been less than an hour. Well, it's been around an hour? I'm not sure how long it's been. And even if it hasn't, I may be able to add rooms, you know, for, for my specialists. Now that I've done... Um, now that I've done everything for, for the Exocraft specialist. What's over here? Just a window, I think. Oh, it is finished! Yeah, we'll probably meet each other. Debrief stuff again. Yeah, following these against can be hard sometimes. It's not like you can walk through walls. Ah, here we go. I guess each one of these has a uh, specific. Uh, the, they're like assigned automatically, so I can't just pick one and access a mission from there. Anyway. Let's talk. Well, traded goods between plants and profit margin 143%. Ooh, good. A couple more convergence cubes. Detected fast moving metal bodies in the kit sector. Scrambled fighters' bodies to prove being metal rich at asteroids. Fired weapons collected metal scrap for sale. And a living pearl. Unable to resell because goods are poor quality. Okay, well. This went better than the other one has, but arguably that's still not seeing a whole heck of a lot because you still bought uh, bought out a couple of pigs and pokes, if you know what I mean. Hopefully, the next mission I send you on, you'll be able to do more, do better. Maybe you graduate. How'd you wait to not even needing the mind needing mind control devices? Either way. I'm gonna have to um build me a save point. That costs what? One Two and 
two. Ooh. Never thought I'd run out of this stuff. But if I remember correctly, there is another. Yeah, there's another trick I can do, so I can... I'll just do this, like, a couple more times. I get ten more... dihydrogen... from dihydrogen jelly than it takes to make dihydrogen... Uh, dihydrogen jelly from dihydrogen. I get 50 out of this, oh. but it only takes 40 to craft it. Yeah, more shenanigans. Like I said, I need a save point. I'm going to plunk one down in this conference room if I can. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to find another portal and look for more portal ley lines. Hmm. I wonder, did the last one just briefly take me into a different dimension? Or, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to check the place out. It just sort of poof, gone. Let's see. Wonder if I can spot him from here. Ah, uh, here we go. Now where is this thing? Have I been here yet? This is my home planet. Oh, never mind. Honestly, it's like I keep going to the same two planets. One of these days, I'm gonna have to go to the other two planets, even the one I forgot to name. But I suppose that's another day, and uh, or should I say, another episode? Way up. <coughs> Wonder if I can I spot this thing from the air? Ooh, there's Star Bramble. I don't want to stop over for that. I guess you could spot that from the air, but not the monolith. How far out of the way is that Star Bramble? Let's use stuff. Huh, not out of the way at all. Okay, I'm not... Is that it, or is that just some kind of weird rock formation? Hmm. I've seen all kinds of monoliths. Well, I've seen some kinds of monoliths, anyway. That's what that is over there. It looks like a couple of triangles, but a little too, a little too regular to be um, a natural formation, or maybe they, maybe it is a natural formation. I'm just tricking myself. And let me see if I'm reading this right. Then yeah, still too far away to finalize the target. But yep, that's it, alright. Now I can check and see if there are any unknown 
animals around here. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I've been to this planet a few too uh, a few times. In fact, it was the first planet I visited in this system. See the stone of the monolith, it's immovable muted silver. And yet, something lurks beneath. It is grey and yet not grey, a crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Well, I'm gonna go find a portal. Does it actually just take one monolith this time? How far away. Okay, yeah, we gotta go by ship. I was hoping it'd be nice and short, but seven hours away by walk means we gotta break atmosphere and use the pulse drive to circumnavigate the planet. The alternative is holding my get my finger on the button for however long and making constant adjustments to my attitude. Well, my up and down one anyway. Set up it good. Ah, cargo. I'll check that out too. Just how far out of inventory space am I? Yeah, this. Hmm. I'm running really low on dihydrogen. I say I have room for microprocessors. You tend to need those. Into some dihydrogen, I'm taking that too. Never thought I'd actually run out of that stuff. Okay. I'm gonna free up a bit of space. Maybe consolidate some stuff. to my starship. Hmm. I gotta rescue those if I... Okay, around the planets. Outbound side. Are they both the outbound side? They can't both be the outbound side. One of those has like a dialer on it, and. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. 
Maybe I just guessed. Alright. Let's turn this thing on. I'll take, uh... Smart. I think it's cobalt? Cobalt or the hydrogen? Hmm. I don't remember how much cobalt I have. And I don't remember how much copper I have either. I think I'm out of dihydrogen though. And it's such a common element, and yet I gotta take it up a up a notch to um use cobalt. I gotta get more dihydrogen. I this lasts. I'm out of cobalt by the time this ends. Yeah, guess not. Okay. Let's see, what do we got here? Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. it requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Well, but I would like this planet's address. Hmm. Well, hopefully I don't have to memorize all that. Let's see if I can find a uh, hollow terminus here. Can I find one or no? find the, uh, wait. Okay, so I am there, but I'm not actually... Hmm. What's a pickle, isn't it? It's near enough so that I can't spot, uh, so that I don't have to take off, off, but it's kind of a long way out, and I am in the middle of blizzard, so what I'm going to do is charge these up, and then track it back down. Well, here it is. And it was such a clear night, I could uh, spot it from 800 feet away. Now, um, first things first, though, I'm gonna bring my ship here, map this place out, get the navigation data, and use it to bring the Eldridge to this spot. Had a means of summoning my extra craft, maybe I'd have used it, uh, not the roamer, of course, but the nomad. Something that doesn't carve a wide swath of destruction through, you know, wherever it goes, unless it's a knowledge stone. Oh, and this. Yeah. I need dihydrogen. Di dihydrogen is important. Surprisingly important, when you think about it. Alright. I don't remember where I stood on the, um, well, under the hollow terminus in order to aim, uh, in order to jetpack my way up here. But I have been able to stick the landing down. And yet, if you go up and miss, you can't really stick the landing back down after banging your head on the whatever. Okay, let's see if we can find Apollo here. Apollo's not here right now, but if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, Apollo will get back to you. Just kidding, here he is.
Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. You have a farm? Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much. Mostly fruit I've found in my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. Anyway, this is no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend, do we not? Yes. As I look at Apollo, I think of all I saw within the portal of what happened to Artemis when they walked the same path. I think of the face of the Atlas, the, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I don't know if the portals are safe. But, here you go, you were... I suppose Apollo knows the risks. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care, to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promise to sing to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from the so-called Null. They want me to be careful, too. I wonder if I can get to Null here. Ah, there he is. It's number three on my speed dial. Two lost souls. One who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives did not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I'm here now and I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. What do you need me for? The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in a multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There, they will find the first secret, I am sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or the wind might be called such names but it is terrified. It is in pain. And we have a responsibility to help its suffering no matter what the cost. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I've been to crash freighters before, but it's only ever been to, uh, to get some treasures out of them. Well, supplies. Uh, I hate to... I hesitate to say looting. It's such a... Uh, such a loaded term, you know? Now, where was this observer? Am I really that close to... Well, it certainly isn't 1,400 feet away. Or 1,400 feet away. This just is walkable. 